I'm surprised and also a little bit disgusted that I have enough microphones and enough microphone stands to do this comparison video. I often get questions about this mic stand, which I've been using a lot in my YouTube videos for the past several months, but I actually have a lot of mic stands, a plethora. <laughs> so I thought I would do a comparison between the different kinds of mic stands. So if you are starting out doing content for YouTube or live streaming or maybe podcasting, and you're trying to decide which kind of stand would be best for your situation, Maybe you'll get something out of this video. Or if you've been doing it for a while and you're thinking about changing your setup, but you don't know which way to go, maybe this will help you too. So let me just go ahead and introduce each one to you and then we'll talk about them individually. So starting with this one, this is your just basic tabletop mic stand. Then we've got a tabletop boom mic stand. Next we have a tripod floor-based mic stand. I don't know if there's like a better name for that. And then an articulating boom arm. Starting with your basic tabletop mic stands, this is going to be the simplest, probably the cheapest one you can buy. Some of them telescope, some of them don't even do that. Benefits, price, ease of use. If you're just getting started, especially if you're doing podcasts and you don't have a lot of things going on in front of you, you don't need to work on a computer, you're not game streaming, and even if you want to have multiple people, this is probably the easiest and cheapest way to go about it. The cons of these are that they're not very adjustable. So really you just get height up and down. And then as far as positioning, you just got to move it <laughs> to where you want it. So that could work again, depending on what you're doing. But if you're a game streamer, this probably is not going to be the best option for you because it's going to be right in your way. They're relatively sturdy, but if your microphone isn't over the, the center post, like this one's uh, jutting forward a little bit, you can tip them over with a little bit of force. So if you've got kids around or cats, which are like furry kids, Maybe not a good choice because they might knock it over. You don't want to break your microphone. And since they are sitting on your desk, the microphone will be susceptible to picking up any noise of you bumping the desk, tapping the desk, typing on the keyboard. Those kind of reverberations and booms can be transmitted into your microphone. Some mics are better at rejecting that stuff than others. So it's going to depend on what kind of microphone you're using as well. And lastly, of course, it's taking up space on your desk. So if your desk space is at a premium or you just want to keep a very clean, minimal setup, maybe not the best option. Let's move over to the desktop boom stand. So very similar to this one with the added party trick of being able to boom out and over. This one allows you to uh, raise it up so you can telescope it. You can change the length of the boom and also just rotate it basically 360 degrees. And you can also change the angle of the boom as well. Get these headphones out of the way with this little I don't know what you even call this thing here, but it's basically just a way to grip it so you can loosen it and tighten it and then change the angle. I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's a pain in the ass and it also makes a ton of noise. So very flexible and adjustable. And obviously you can boom it out. You can set it to the side and boom it out pretty far. So you can easily work on a keyboard with this desktop boom stand. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I think this one goes between between say 30 and $40. It's also really heavy. So because it has to support the weight of the microphone being boomed out, this, what do you call this part? The weighted platform? I can't remember, <laughs> I can't think of what to call this. It's really heavy, much heavier than just your tabletop mic stand. And it will keep the microphone relatively stable. However, only if the boom is over the top of the long part of the stand, of the weight, essentially, if you rotate the mic out away from that center of gravity, it'll fall over real easy. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you've got kids or furry kids, maybe not the best option if they're always messing with your stuff. I speak from experience. And just like the other tabletop mic stand, your mic will be susceptible to picking up noise from your desk. Even though you can get it out of your way if you're a game streamer, maybe not the best choice just in terms of audio. I also like these because you can hang your headphones from them. All right, so let's move over to the floor mounted mic stand, which is just kind of over here off to the side. And it works, it has this all, it does the same thing as this one, it's just sitting on the floor as opposed to your desk. So it has a boom, it has the same uh, mechanism for adjusting the angle of the boom. You can slide it, the boom in and out and rotate it around. You can telescope this thing up and down. So it's extremely adjustable, just like this one is, with the added benefit of being on the floor. So again, totally off your desk. So obviously freeing up all the desk space and getting out of your way. And it also 
you don't have to worry about hitting the desk. None of the desk sounds will be transmitted to the microphone. These are relatively affordable too. This is a, from a company called Pile, and I think I got this for about 30 bucks. I've had it for years. It is a little bit of a pile of shit, only because it's not the highest quality and it won't hold a lot of weight. Um, this is great for shotgun microphones, which are really light. You could probably do a condenser microphone, which tend to be light, but it would probably struggle with something like the um, Rode Pod mic, just holding the angle. It'll start drooping with heavier setups. But again, they're great for shotgun microphone because you don't want the microphone in your shot and you can easily boom this up and over you and it works perfect for that application. It is off your desk, but it is taking up a lot of space on your floor. So that's another consideration. The tripod, the legs work the same way as a light stand. So you just loosen up the little tightening nut on the bottom and then just pull it out and then the legs will start spreading and you can put them in a variety of positions. You can have them out really wide or, or more narrow. I don't use this one all that much because um, even though desk space is at a premium, I think floor space is even more to premium just because I have tripods, C-stands, light stands, and my room is very small and there's just tons of stuff in it. So this just takes up even more space and just is hard to maneuver. This might be perfect for you if you're cleaner than me and have less junk, <laughs> it might be perfect. Also, if you do want to stand and record, this is awesome. This is pretty much the best option for being able to stand up and record your voice. So last, let's go ahead and talk about the articulating mic boom arm thingamajig, whatever it's called. These are probably the most flexible and also easiest to position because they're tension based. So they should stay in the position that you put them in, should. There's a huge range of these in price. You can get them for as little as $15 probably on Amazon. And you can spend upwards of several hundred dollars on something that's much more professional and studio ready. Not only is the quality of something that's like 15, 20, 30 bucks, not gonna be that great, but it's also not gonna be as long. So it'll be much shorter, the range of motion. So if you've got a big desk that you're trying to cover a lot of space with this, probably won't work. You have all sorts of um, pivot points. So you got basically a pivot point at the base, a pivot point at the middle, and then a pivot point at the end. And then you can also, should be able to rotate the microphone. So really easy to position. So they are on the desk, but they are off to the side or in the corner. You can clamp them to the desk or usually you can drill them more or less permanently into the desk or tabletop surface, depending on what you want to do. So they're sort of like permanent to semi-permanent solutions. If you do want to clamp them, pay attention to how thick your desk is. I have a really thick desk and I've never found one that had a clamp that was that opened up wide enough to actually clamp on my desk. And I never wanted to drill into the desk. So there are cons to these. Again, there's depending on how much you spend and what kind you get, some of the cons are, and this is more of like a general con list that you'll have to pay attention to when you're looking at a particular model, is weight limit. Some will only hold maybe two, two and a half pounds. And then those cheaper ones that are 15 bucks I don't know, maybe not even that much. Some of them, the tension isn't easily adjustable. So if the microphone doesn't stay in position, you will have to adjust the tension. Some make it easier than others. This one's awesome because it has these big rubber knobs here that you can easily just tighten and loosen at will. Some require a tool. Some even have you open up a cover and you know use a screwdriver to increase the overall tension. So they can be a little bit fiddly to get the tension right. Another thing to keep in mind too, depending on what you get, is the length of your cable. These articulating arms, these boom arms, and probably your floor stands, you might need a longer cable depending on where you're trying to run it to. These that you have just sitting on your desk, maybe you don't need such a long cable. Just something to consider. Longer cables will be more expensive and longer cables will also be prone to have more signal interference. So you're going to want to spend a little bit extra money on a good cable if you need to get a long one. Also, if you're using a USB microphone, the cables that come with those tend to be about 10 feet. So that's kind of, that'll be your limit for the most part with a USB microphone. Just throwing that out there, just in case you didn't consider the cable length, cable runs, just keep that in mind too. I think that's it. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. I hope you got something out of that. I hope that was helpful. Hopefully you can make a decision going forward, which kind of mic stand is going to be best for your situation. There's not a right or wrong answer. Um, each has its pros and cons. You might want more than one depending on the situation as well. I kind of have that problem.
So if you are interested in some more videos about microphones and recording audio interfaces, maybe check out this playlist, which is floating around the screen somewhere. And hopefully I'll see you in one of those videos. If not, stay tuned for whatever it is I've got coming up next. I'm sure it'll be fascinating.